the heartbeat of competition, the drama of the moment. This is NASCAR on Nick Blam Racing. Two of NASCAR's West Coast sweep lands us in the desert for an old-fashioned showdown at high noon. And in this dry valley under the sun, you'll find the future stars of NASCAR all with an undying thirst. A thirst for victory. Welcome race fans to NASCAR Xfinity Series Racing in Phoenix. I'm Micah McLam, your commentator and driver of the number 22 Moneyline Mustang for Penske Racing. And we are here at one of the more difficult ovals to navigate in the schedule. While we are all looking for that ride off in the sunset style victory. If that were to turn out to be a mirage, then there is only one thing left to do out here in the blazing heat of the Arizona sun. Survive. McBlam Racing welcomes you to the running of the IK9 200 here at the ISM Raceway. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on weekly NASCAR racing content during the real life NASCAR season. The NASCAR Heat 4 Pole Award for race number 4 goes to defending Xfinity Series champion Tyler Reddick. He's the first non-Gibbs driver to win a pole this season and looks to be the fourth new winner in the 2022 season. But to do that, he'll have to hold off 37 other Xfinity Series hooligans all hungry for victory. Ray Black Jr., especially one of those drivers who finished in the top 5 last week, looking to carry that momentum here in Phoenix, but ourselves, we're going to have to do it all the way from the back of the field, starting P last as Tyler Reddick and Cole Custer is going to lead this band of hooligans to the line. Green flag is in the air. Let's bring the noise in the desert. First lap is complete here at ISM Raceway. We picked up a couple of spots there, but right now, the man of the hour currently is the number two of Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick currently sitting eighth in points, looking to crack the top five there, as well as Josh Williams, who was another fast car here. He's been having a pretty decent first few races. He's sitting right outside the top 10 in 11th. Ooh, slight contact as we went three wide with Josh Balicki. Balicki is still right there on that apron as we go three wide inside of Joey Gase. Nowhere to really go there. Joey Gase just kind of backs out of that, gives us the room. Ooh, I overshot turn number three big time there. We finally cracked the top 30, but, but like I said, Josh Williams, another driver, looking to crack his way into the top 10 in points, hopefully with a good finish today, as we're working currently on Garrett Smithley. We all know how important it is to finish ahead of Garrett Smithley. If we, if we, lose, this, if we lose this race, whatever. <laughs> But we can't lose to Garrett Smithley. We, that, that's just something that just can't happen. But Phoenix has always been an Achilles heel. It has always been a tough racetrack for me especially. Ooh, we got a little bit loose there, center of the turn. Yeah, we can't be held up too much by Garrett Smithley here. We're gonna have to really throw it into the turn. Really work our way around him. Up into P28. 
We're going to start working on John Jackson now, if that is his real name. Five laps to go in the stage. Tyler Reddick has checked the frick out. Ooh, little tap to John Jackson there. Little bit slow off turn number two. I do notice that that's always kind of a thing is that they are really slow off off of turn number two. They throw it into turn number one so hard. But things kind of even out on at uh, turns three and four. Yeah, see here, like you see here, we like we just gained so much time coming off of turn number one, turn number two. I gotta check up, just so I don't run over Chad Fincham here. I'm just gonna try to be as patient as I can, just kind of pick these guys off methodically. It's gonna be a long race here, a long grind. Again, <laughs> the name of the game is just to survive. I got really loose going into the turn that time. And still somehow managed, still somehow managed to get the uh, momentum on Chad Fincham as we're now looking at B.J. McLeod to try to crack the top 25. Finally, I don't want to fall too far behind and take too long to get around these guys because man, oh, B.J. McLeod really protecting there. Oh, B.J. McLeod sideways in turn two. Around goes the 15. Caution is out. Stage is over. Not something I meant to do there, and I completely forgot about the fact that they do that. So, for our top ten of the stage, Tyler Reddick, Ray Black Jr., up to second now. Justin Allgaier, Cole Custer falls back to fourth, rounding out the top five as Christopher Bell. Michael Annette, Justin Haley, Kaz Grala, Noah Gragson, last week's winner, and Chase Briscoe will round out the top 10. We're going to go ahead and take four tires and fuel, Start hopefully start P25 still, okay. On the, inside, on the inside lane, I completely forgot that they do that, but that's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get stage two underway. Tyler Reddick leads them to the line. Green flag is in the air. Got to really pedal a throttle here as we go into turn number one. Ooh, I got a little bit snug there. That's not something that usually happens. I thought I had the car set up really good to get the nose pointed. To slow down a whole great deal. Big stack up. On the bottom lane there, there was nowhere to go. And now Timmy Hill's going to fight back on the outside. Oh, contact with Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill goes into the turn and spins in front of the field. Caution is out. So unfortunately, this was just another one of those instances where the AI wreck a few seconds after you've made contact and man, he just locks it up. Whew. John Jackson just nails Timmy Hill there. But yeah, we made we didn't even make that hard of contact like we didn't, we didn't really, you know, hit all that hard. As you'll see here, we just kind of come through the dog leg, come together ever so slightly. I turned to keep it off of him, but that didn't stop him from getting sideways. John Jackson nails him, gets some damage. Timmy Hill goes all the way to the back of the field. Looking at it from another angle, see, yeah, we just made the slightest contact. It wasn't necessarily that hard, but. I mean, honestly, it just looks like Timmy Hill overcooked it into the corner. I just couldn't hang on to it. But, yeah, that's that's kind of what happens on board with Timmy Hill. Just made ever so slight contact and aggressive goes around. Problems for the 66, Timmy Hill. So yet another situation <laughs> where we have the AI that's been well after you've made contact with them, but we're going to try to employ some strategy here. We're going to go ahead and go to the back of the field and hopefully have a long run here, gain us some track position. Maybe we can take two tires on the next pit stop, go around, but here we go. Green flag is back in the air. Tyler Reddick leads him to the line once again. 
We're going to tuck in behind Tommy Joe Martins. Five laps to go in stage number two. Easy inside of Garrett Smithley, who's fallen all the way to the back. Trying to work our way to the inside of Josh Balicki. Gonna try not to get into Timmy Hill or Austin Hill, excuse me. We've got fresh tires on these guys. We should be able to. Oh man, Earnhardt scared me a little bit there. <laughs> Okay, inside of Jeff Green. We had to go way down on the bottom of the racetrack. Like I said, these guys are so slow off turn number two. It just makes it really, really difficult to really run the, the line that you're kind of supposed to run here. And that's mainly because, at least for me, the AI just takes such weird lines or have such weird corner entry and weird corner exit. It's like they go into the corner really hard, but they're so slow off the corner that it's just like, there's just not a lot I can do about that. But yeah, we're quickly kind of working our way back up into the top 25, so we'll probably be where we left off at the uh, end of these two races here. Oh, I got into the 13 of John Jackson. Don't spin out, John. Don't spin out. <laughs> The 13 got a little bit squirrely right there. I get, I'm guessing more so at short tracks, they're more sensitive. Because I made contact a few times when... When Noah Gregson and I were racing at Vegas, we made contact a couple of times. He never really got loose or anything like that, so... That was just an interesting thing. And again, I just made some contact with uh, Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain was fine, but I guess it really depends. We might be three wide here. No, we're not. Okay. He lets us go. And Tyler Reddick wins the stage. Ooh, big contact after, <laughs> after the stage is over. But Tyler Reddick wins himself the second stage of the race. And let's look and see what we've got for the rest of the top 10. And as I was as I was suspecting, our tires are not so bad. We may just be able to come down for two tires and, and make that work there. But we've got Tyler Reddick, Ray Black Jr., Justin Allgaier, Colt Custer, Noah Gragson, Kaz Grala, Justin Haley, Briscoe, Nemechek, and Bell will round out the top five for the stage. We're going to go ahead and come down, take a full tank of fuel, two tires... Get us some track position. Just get us up here and hopefully be able to make something work with some much needed track position. But here we go. Green flag is in the air. Stage three is underway. Tyler Reddick pretty much been leading this entire race. We got such a huge jump on the start and just had nowhere to go. We've still got some momentum running on the out on the outside. Battling side by side with a 98 of Chase Briscoe. And oh, Nemechek is going to try to make it three wide off turn number four. He thinks better of it. Gives us plenty of room. Oh, contact with the number one of Annette the Threat. Ah, I overdrove turn number one there. Might be able to keep Gray Galding behind me. Yes, I do. So we've fallen just outside of the top ten after starting P8. Let's see what we could do here to try to just kind of maintain this position. Oh, Tyler Reddick is under attack. Ray Black Jr. is all over the back of Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick, who once checked out on this entire field, whoo, got loose going into one that time. Got to be a little bit more careful on the brakes so that I don't do that. But yeah. Tyler Reddick, who once checked out of the field, is now under attack by Ray Black Jr. Jr. looks to the inside. Can't quite get anything on Tyler Reddick. He is really... Tyler Reddick's really defending right now. And we're really trying to defend this 11th position from the 23 of Hunter Nemechek. I don't think we're going to be able to hold him off very long. Yeah, we're just not able to really keep it down there on the bottom. Oh, 
He looked. <laughs> he looked. He he was coming really, 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 really quick. But that's also that uh. That's also that NASCAR Heat AI physics thing where they could just kind of grip it around the bottom without any real consequence. Oh! Noah Gregson is around on the front stretch! Big crash! Caution is out! Holy... <laughs> we had to go back and look at this replay, so it looks like Noah Gregson had an issue coming off of turn number four. You see he starts to smoke there and just... Absolutely gets nailed in the back by Kaz Grala. I'm not even sure what happened there because Kaz Grala, Kaz Grala was running the top of the racetrack. You see, he's slow off the turn, and then Kaz Grala just nails him in the back bumper, puts him right in the inside wall. Really violent crash for Noah Gragson. Looking on board, you see there's actually some smoke starting to come out of the nine of Noah Gragson's car. You just see, <laughs> he just gets absolutely nailed. I was trying to get a better angle on it. It might appear that Ka that Kazgrala might have gotten loose there. Yeah, you see he's gotten some smoke trouble. Just gets nailed. Christopher Bell gets involved in that. He gets some damage. But yeah. Last week's winner, man. That's rough. Yeah, you hear the engine just start to go down on him, and... Yeah, it looks like Kaz just got loose. Kaz might have just gotten loose, or it might have been intentional. Who knows? But, yeah, problems for the nine. Last week's winner. It's gonna have to go to the back of the field and get that Chevy Camaro fixed. Last week's winner! <laughs> is definitely in a spot of bother here at Phoenix. He's going to have to go to the back, and I'm actually kind of thinking I want to go with him. I'm kind of debating on it right now. I might want to just go with him, take the four tires and fuel, try to employ some pit strategy, you know, work our way back up through the field. Hopefully only take two tires towards the end of the race, and we'll see what we can do, but here we go. Tyler Reddick leads him to the line. Green flag is back in the air. Noah Gregson in that fully repaired number nine car now. We got a big jump on the start. No surprise there. Gonna have to be a little bit careful going into one. Knowing that these guys are very, very slow off turn number two. Gain quickly gained a few spots there. Up to 33rd, 32nd now. Yeah, we've got fresh tires on these guys, so we should be able to pick our way through these guys fairly quickly, especially now that they're very bunched up. We also got to be careful because we can get very, very loose. Oh, going to make it three wide off turn number two. Jeff Green not giving us a whole lot of room there, but I don't think he had much of a choice. He had the 66 of Timmy Hill, who was outside. He had to really dive it in there under Chad Fincham. Now working on Caesar Baccarella. Who came down to block? Oh, contact! Door banging with Caesar Baccarella. That was actually harder than I'd hit anyone else, but he didn't spin out. So Caesar gathered it up just fine, trying to figure out what Matt Mills is doing here. He's kind of all over the place. Still kind of all over the place. We're going to try to just work our way around him. And we're going to not get into BJ McLeod this time around. I wonder if it's also... I'm kind of curious. Is it also a driver talent kind of thing? So if you hit one of the... No, it can't be that. It can't be that. Is it a driver talent kind of thing? Is like, do, do certain drivers, like the drivers in the five-star car, save it a little more than the drivers in the three-star, etc., etc.? Even though I know, like, the, uh, the flex seal cars are technically four-star, I believe. Yeah, we're here looking to the inside of Ross Chastain. And we have a caution. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it on fuel. That's going to be a thing. I think we can. Uh, it'll be a little bit close. Let's just come down for fuel only. I think that's the best bet to take right now. 
Cautions breed cautions, folks. The number one of Michael Annette, who was running up towards the front, has tire trouble here at Phoenix. Unfortunately, looks like that, yeah, that right front just let go on him. There's nothing he could do. He's at this point <laughs> as he gets into Kazgrala. And Christopher Bell, for that matter, as well. But yeah, right front uh, tires problems for... Which I'm surprised there weren't more of this. There was a lot more of this in the truck race. But yeah, right front problems, tire problems for the number one pilot flying J of Annette the Threat. Alright. Back up into P8. Gained 13 spots on that pitch strategy call right there. Oh boy, are we going to be able to hang on? Green flag is back in the air. Ten laps to go in the race here at Phoenix. It is go time, ladies and gentlemen. It is go time. Tyler Reddick is leading them off turn number two. Got Kaz Grala to our inside. Going to try to stay with him as much as I can here. Going to fight side by side with the 21. Oh boy, man, you could have squeezed a piece of paper between the back bumper of Kaz Grala and my front bumper. The 39 looking to the inside. Nowhere to go for him either. Things are tight around here at Phoenix. Oh man, are we going to be able to get to Kaz Grala? We might be able to do something with them if we can get them. No, not quite. They still have quite an advantage off turn number four. Oh, contact with the 39. But everything's okay. He keeps it going straight. We keep it going straight. He doesn't spin out three seconds after we make contact, so everything's fine. Jeremy Clements currently running P11. We're now trying to catch up to Kaz Grala, who's currently working on Chase Briscoe to try to see if he could do anything with them. And Tyler Reddick, once again, no pressure from behind for that two car. So it looks like whatever they did in stage number two, they went back and possibly made some adjustments to maybe make the car better in stage number two. And I think what possibly wound up happening is it made the car worse. And that was allowing Ray Black Jr. to really fight with them. So it looks like they went the opposite way on those adjustments and possibly got the car hooked back up again. Because, yeah, he was gone. We have another caution, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. All right, obviously not pitting. Oh, boy. Other caution. So this is probably going to be a green-white checker here. I believe everyone is on old tires. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of... <laughs> where, where we shake out here. Here we go. Green flag is back in the air. Two, three laps to go here in the desert. As we're three wide, we're going for it. Trying to pick up as many spots as we can. Going to look to the inside of Cole Custer. Cole Custer, who started outside pole, is now fighting side by side alongside with us. Currently getting slowed up by the seven of Justin Allgaier. Ooh, looks like Nemechek. Oh, here comes Cole Custer down way on the bottom of the racetrack. Two tires on the apron to take the position back. Two laps to go. We got so loose coming through that dog leg there. Oh, we're still fighting with Justin Allgaier. Can we do anything with him? Tyler Reddick currently under attack by Ray Black Jr. Can the 07 do anything with the two car of Tyler Reddick? White flag in the air. One more time around. Here comes Kaz Grala fighting on the outside. Trying to take P7 away. As we got really loose going into turn number one that time. Here we come. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Into turns three and four. 
Here comes Ray Black Jr. Tyler Reddick hangs on and wins at Phoenix. And we come home P8 after a hard fought battle with the 21 of Kaz Gralla. All right, guys, so here are the race results for the IK9 200 here at Phoenix Raceway. Tyler Reddick wins here at Phoenix. Absolute dominating performance for the RCR team in that number two car. After winning both stages, leading the most laps of the race, more than likely, and options obviously winning the whole shebang. Ray Black Jr. comes in second. Cole Custer in third. Fourth is John Hunter Nemechek. And rounding out the top five is Justin Haley. We have six is Justin Allgaier. Seventh is Kaz Grala. Eighth is myself. Ninth, uh, ninth is Chase Briscoe. And rounding out the top ten is Elliot Sadler. After not having the great start to the year, he comes back here at Phoenix with the top ten. Much needed points for the 10 car anyway here is the rest of the field where you can pick out your favorite driver noah gragson after a tough wreck on the front stretch or the back stretch i should say um just rallies back for a top 15 finish no idea how he did that but <laughs> the man was on a move what what can you say I, there you see <laughs> absolute just just got destroyed on the front stretch by uh by kaz Grala. But anyway, we have BJ McLeod in the top 25. Morgan Shepard with a 31st place finish. And out of the race finishing last place is Tommy Joe Martins. I'm not sure what happened with Tommy Joe. I didn't see him on any of the replays and it didn't seem like he was involved in any of the wrecks, but obviously problems for the 99 car of Tommy Joe Martins. Fastest lap goes to Ray Black Jr. with a 26.72. Most laps led obviously goes to Tyler Reddick leading every single lap of this race. I, I got nothing for him. On the move is myself starting 38th, finishing 8th, and the tough break goes to Zane Smith who started 5th and finishes 18th. So after our amazing top 10 finish at Phoenix, we're going to go out and celebrate with our buddy, Matt Mills. He's taking us to karaoke. He's paying. I'm all for it. Let's go, Matt. Let's go to karaoke. And here are the point standings after Phoenix. We have Brandon Brown still leading the points. Still absolutely a, just an amazing year for this 86 car. Uh, but we have closed the gap. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have closed the gap now seven points behind the number 86 of Brandon Brown. We have Cole Custer who moved his way up into third, 18 points back. Tyler Reddick after his win today, absolute dominating performance, is 30 points back in fourth. And Ray Black Jr. rounding out the top five, 32 points back in fifth. Uh, we have Chase Briscoe, Justin Haley, Noah Gragson falls back a bit. He is now uh, 103 points back in eighth. And rounding out the top 10 is gonna be Christopher Bell who is 177 points back. Still pretty tight, uh, still pretty tight points battle between the top the top eight, really, or top seven, I should say. But um, you cannot count out these guys. <laughs> you cannot count out these guys. These are some good guys, uh, good, good drivers here. I would not be surprised to see them crack the top five, if not take over the points lead at some point during this season. Anyway, guys, so that was the race at Phoenix. This was a tough race. I'm not going to lie about it. This was an absolute tough, tough race, and I fully expected it. I fully expected Phoenix to be super hard, um, and, it, and, it, and it doesn't disappoint. It never disappoints every year, um, even in, like, the five-star equipment. It's still pretty tough to get around here. I'm not particularly good at this track, uh, and as always, the longer the race, the more I start to figure it out, the more I can run up there. Pitch strategy played an absolute, you know, super mega role in me finishing in the top 10. I don't think I could have gotten up there. I think I probably had a top 15 car at the most, but the pitch strategy worked in our favor. The cautions fell in the right spot. Some of them I kind of wish would didn't happen. I was like, oh, I wish it kind of would have went green there. But then we had another caution that came out and it was like, okay, I, I can, I can, I think I can work with this. I think I can make something happen here. So uh, I would have liked to have gotten a little bit farther up there. Would have liked to have gotten a little bit farther up there, but it's it's just tough. It's just tough. It, like I said, this is the challenge that I wanted. We started from the back, came all the way up to the top 10, 
I can't be mad about that. Seven points out of the points lead. So uh, seven points out of the yeah, seven points out of the points lead. So I can't be I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that. Oh, uh, but we have Auto Club Speedway coming up next. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, the Auto Club seems to be one of those tracks where you you don't have a lot of spread. Like you'll have a lot of cars that are just kind of bunched up all together. But like the field is spread out, but you'll have like five or six cars that are just racing in a clump. And so I don't know how that's going to go. I'm trying to be as patient as possible here. Um, but Auto Club is one of the easier tracks in the game. It's much more spacious, you know. Um, and uh, you're going to need some draft partners to get through here as well. You're definitely going to need some draft partners to get through here, um, this this track and Michigan. But I'm interested to see what happens. I'm interested to see what happens. Uh, maybe, maybe we could touch that points lead after Auto Club. But I'm not going to count my chickens before we, they hatch. We got to start all the way from the back and... That can change things. That can change things. As many cautions have been happening in a lot of these races, you never know what's going to go down. But that is a story for another weekend. Until then, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the NASCAR Xfinity Series here on McBlam Racing. If you enjoy these races, I do them every weekend following the NASCAR Xfinity Series IRL. So be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Hashtag better luck next time. Uh, comment down below or whatever just throw something in the comments I don't care comment 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 that's the that's you know get us past that YouTube pesky algorithm I'm gonna go celebrate my top 10 with some karaoke you guys have a good weekend until next time we'll see you at Auto Club <laughs>